We're being asked to find the center radius form of a circle, and we're given the endpoints of the diameter of the circle, so solution. So I guess we should find the center. So to find the center, if one point is here and one point is here, and then you draw your circle, right, this would be the diameter. So the, di the center would be right in the middle, so it would be the midpoint, right? So the midpoint would be the center of our circle. So let's find the midpoint. Recall the formula from the mid midpoint says if you have two ordered pairs, you add the x's and you add the y's and you divide by two. So that's the midpoint formula. Midpoint. And so that's what we'll use to find the center. So this could be x1, this could be y1, this could be x2, this could be y2. So if you add negative 4 plus 6, I'll write it down, negative 4 plus 6, and you divide that by 2, that will give us the x-coordinate for our center. And then 5 plus negative 9 divided by 2, that should be the y-coordinate for the center. So this ends up being, let's see, negative 4 plus 6 is 2, 2 over 2 is 1. This is negative 4 over 2, which is negative 2. So this here will be our center. Let's go ahead and write down our circle. So we have the formula, the center radius formula, looks like this, equals r squared. And we can plug in the center. This will be h, and this will be k. So we end up with x minus 1 quantity squared plus uh, y plus 2 quantity squared equals r squared. How to get a plus 2 here? Uh, minus negative 2 gives us a, a plus 2. Looks like we have to find r squared or maybe just find r. There are a couple ways to do it. I think maybe the easiest way is to just pick one of these points because we know they lie on the circle. Since they lie on the circle, they have to make this equation true. So we're allowed to plug them in to the equation. So let's pick the first piece. So it'll be negative 4 minus 1 squared, right? That's our x, negative 4, plus 5 plus 2 squared equals r squared. So negative 4 minus 1 is negative 5. You square that, you get 25. Plus here, two, 5 plus 2 is 7. You square that, you get 49. And that's equal to r squared. So r squared ends up being 49 plus 25, so 74, right? 74, and if, you know, if you're not sure, you know, if it's late and you don't have a calculator like I do, uh, 9 plus 5 is 14, right? You carry the 1, 5, old school, yeah, it worked. <laughs> so r squared is, is 74. Let's finish, we'll just plug in r squared, and we are done. So this is x minus 1 squared plus y plus 2 squared equals 74. Boom, there it is. There is the center radius form of the circle given the endpoints of the diameter. So a little bit more challenging. I hope this helps uh, someone out there who's working on circles.